if you think about everything that's happened here, uh, you've come to the recognition that this has been a major effort. So in terms of uh, in terms of value added, clearly it's there. In terms of partnership with the port, uh, it's going extremely well. Uh, Why World Trade Center 7 went down? I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building collapse. Building 7 burns over a number of floors and suffers structural damage to its south face before collapsing completely to the ground. Did anything occur inside the building that might cause a collapse? We started walking down the stairs, we made it to the eighth floor. Big explosion. Blew us back into the eighth floor. And I turned to Hesh, I, I said, this is it, we're dead. We're, we're not going to make it out of here. And we have Frank Uciardo back on the phone with okay. us, Brenda, with uh, some New York City officials. Frank, go ahead. That's right, I'm standing here right now, just off Broadway by City Hall with Michael Hess, who is the city's corporation counsel. Mr. Hess, you were trapped in, I believe, Seven World Trade Center. Go ahead, sir. Yes, I was. I was up in the emergency management center on the 23rd floor, and when all the power went out in the building, uh, another gentleman and I walked down to the 8th floor where there was an explosion, and we'd been trapped on the 8th floor with smoke, thick smoke, all around us for about an hour and a half. But the New York Fire Department, as terrific as they are, just came and got us out. Their experience is mentioned by NIST's interim report on Building 7. However, the authors claim it is the collapse of the North Tower. This building had 81 columns, 24 core and 57 perimeter, running from the basement to the roof. For the building to have collapsed the way it did, all 81 of these columns had to collapse simultaneously. Could fires on a few floors have heated up all these columns to the breaking point at the same time? Let's ask the 9-11 Commission. Governor Keene. May I ask another question, please? Uh, on five, at 5.20 p.m. on September 11th, World Trade Center building number 7, 47-story modern frame steel skyscraper that no plane hit, collapsed into a neat little pile onto itself and exhibiting all the characteristics of controlled demolition. FEMA, in their investigation, I didn't say that. They said the fire must have knocked it down, but they couldn't figure out how. Uh, video evidence shows what appears to be explosive squids going up the side of the building from south to north or from bottom to top as the building collapsed. Uh, there was molten metal found in the basement of that building at temperatures that exceeded anything normal fire could cause. Uh, with all the confusion about what happened to Building 7, why is there not a word about the collapse of that building in the 911 Commission report? We didn't see any, any evidence of the kind of thing you're talking about. We thought that was one of the, part of the tragedy of 9-11. There was no later on. There was not a lot of loss of life in that building, uh, and it was not uh, not part of our report. Not part of the report. Thank you. Is a uh, a controlled demolition hypothesis being examined for World Trade Center Seven? Uh, we are looking at it. Um, there's actually a very good write-up uh, recently uh, from controlled demolition experts, which you probably ought to read. Um, we haven't finished the investigation yet, so I'm not at liberty to, to talk about any intermediate findings. We were charged with finding out the cause of the collapse, and we we uh, found uh, what happened. I think uh, we've scientifically demonstrated uh, what was required to initiate the collapse. Once the collapse initiated, the video evidence is rather clear. It, it was not stopped by the floors below, so there was no calculation that we did uh, to demonstrate that, uh, what is clear from the good videos. Clearly see the outline of World Trade Center 7 as it falls. Fire for hours, uh, and the smoke just seemed to intensify, um, but we really couldn't see a lot of damage from uh, this angle, from the north side of the uh, structures. Um, that's why everybody was so surprised when all of a sudden it just, it just fell. I just never for the life of me thought that these huge buildings that have been here so long would actually just fall. And, and, that's, and that's what happened. They, they, just, they just crumbled. 
Now let's use forward and reverse to analyze the shock wave that ripped through the building. You know, we heard this, this sound that sounded like a clap of thunder. Turned around, we were shocked to see that the building was, uh, uh, well, it looked like there was um, a shock wave uh, ripping through the building and the windows all uh, busted out and, you know, it was, it was horrifying. And then, uh, you know, about a second later, the bottom floor caves out and uh, the building followed after that and um, we saw the building crash down all the way to the ground. Um, you know, we were in shock. Difficulties around the area, New Jersey Transit outbound yeah, local terminal yeah, operating yeah. on a load and go basis, no inbound service, and also out of Newark Penn Station, limited service on the Northeast Carter and North Jersey uh, coastlines and the Raritan line as well. Uh, so what, what we have today is something that, as a result of what's been accomplished here, uh, is nothing short of extraordinary because it removes uncertainties. It allows us to do what all of New York wanted us to do and wants us desperately to do, and that's rebuild the trade center. Mr. Silverstein, what, is, what does this mean to the rebuilding of the World Trade Center? Well, the, the train is now moving down the tracks. Uh, the, the World Trade Center is now under construction. Uh, when you go to the site, you can see it physically. Uh, when you look, you can look at the location of Freedom Tower. You can see that all of the equipment that's in place, the work that's going on with respect to the foundation of that building, the rising as well. So it's a it's a major undertaking. I'm really very excited for all of New York. I'm really very thrilled. This is, this is a very positive development, and it's good for all of New York. From 1776 to 2000, 42 presidents borrowed a total of 1.01 trillion dollars from foreign governments and institutions. From 2001 to 2005, the Bush administration alone borrowed 1.05 trillion dollars. Where does this money go? The government designed by the people for the people has turned its back on us. Or have we turned our backs on it? They spy on us. They torture and imprison innocent civilians.